So I'm hoping you guys can see me. This is my first time going live like this. I don't know how it's gonna go. But, um, some of you have been asking for a studio tour, so I wanted to be able to just pop on and do that live. I don't know if it's better sideways or not. No, it wants to be this way. Okay, so <laughs> if anybody comes in, please feel free to ask questions. But honestly, I didn't know how to do this. I was so like nervous and weird about it that I decided I'm just gonna go live and see what happens. So um, I'm gonna show you around my studio. Um, you can see it's in my creepy basement. So we just hung these white sheets on there. Um, and I am not good at designing. Hi, KG. Um, I'm not good at designing. So I asked my mother-in-law to like set this all up for me, but I did want to show you guys what exactly is in here. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. But honestly, it's late and I'm bored. So I decided to come on and just talk to you guys. Um, so I'm gonna show you what's in my studio. Again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, I didn't know if anybody else was actually going to come on, but let's have a look-see. Okay, so up here I have my pieces from Horizon Zero Dawn. This is Aloy and I love her. I am obsessed with this game. If you haven't played it, you absolutely have to. Um, so I have these pieces and then this is my book. I'm trying to get better about like advertising myself um so i always have the books in the background but i'm not good at talking about them um okay listen i'm not kidding i would love to do audiobooks i don't know how <laughs> i literally don't know how um so i think at some point i'm gonna like invest in some good equipment and figure it out um but we'll see oh you guys are so nice thank you <laughs> Um, thank you. Honestly, part of the reason I went live is I just got this dress and I like it. <laughs> so I was like, screw it. When I actually feel good about my ginormous body, let's do it. Okay. Um, and then I love my fake little plants. I wish I could have real greenery, but it's in my creepy basement. So we can't. Um, oh my gosh, there's 120 of you. <laughs> I thought I'd get like 10. Wow. Okay. Sorry. Um, yeah. So studio tour. This is what I'm just going to show you my stuff. Okay. Um, I, I don't know what happened, but when I hit 30, I just started collecting gems. I don't know how my home filled with them. I used to have them spread out everywhere. And then finally it was like, someone has to, they have to go in a jar. My, my mother-in-law freaked out, but she's right. They have to go in a jar. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, there's so many of you here. I did not expect that. Um, so, okay, let me know if you guys have questions, if there's anything you want to talk about. I'm just showing you the dumb stuff behind me because enough people have asked questions. I feel like I should finally do it. Um, this one is just a little bit of greenery, but I want to tell you the story about it. Oh, thank you. I love my nails. Um, so my mother-in-law was looking for places to put more green stuff. And she was like, oh, well, I put one in, in your jar of rocks. And I was like, what jar of rocks? And this is my secret stash of candy that I didn't tell her about. These are M&Ms. <laughs> These are M&Ms. These are not colorful rocks, but I was too ashamed to tell her that. She does not watch me on YouTube, so I'm telling you people, but yeah, like I haven't yet resorted to eating these, but I think it's gonna happen, hold on. Okay, so sorry. yeah, let me know if you guys have questions. Um, question about the game from an old gamer. What do you got, Sweepy? Name of my camera and microphone. Okay, so right now I'm just using my phone, um, but normally I use a GoPro and a Rode. I will show you those in one second. Hold on, let me take you over there. Okay, so this is my GoPro and my Rode mic, which again, you guys paid for because you were amazing. Um, it really wasn't that expensive though. Um, so yeah, that investment was relatively small. Um, I'm gonna see if there's any other questions. Oh, the name of the game, um, Horizon Zero Dawn. They just came out with the second one. The second one is still good. First one is definitely better. Um, but you get to hang out with my boyfriend again in the game, so that makes me really happy. It's a really good game. It has a strong female character, um, but the whole game isn't about that Like she's a girl. It's, it's a very, very good game if you haven't played it. I really love it. All right, next. Um, this is actually from my wedding. So I am a huge horror fanatic. Um, I love 
movies, video games, everything. Um, so I wanted to have a fall wedding, preferably a Halloween wedding. Um, and I still, I'm still Christian, so I wanted my wedding to be serious, but for the reception, the dessert room, which was completely organized by my family, was all Halloween and spooky and creepy. And my mother-in-law made all of the decorations, including this little baby doll head. So because I love this, um, I decided to keep it there. And a lot of people have asked questions. Um, I'm not removing it. Like, I love it. It makes me happy. So it is staying. But yes, it is a super creepy doll head. Um, my mother-in-law makes amazing things. And this was, this was one of them. She also made me and my husband as like skeletons for the ceremony. Um, yeah, I know it's, it's a little sad, but I don't know. I like it. <laughs> and then what I will be doing in the future, because so many people are smarter than me is, um, I will be displaying necklaces for sale on here. So yeah. Um, what I'm going to be doing, I have not tried hero clips. What I'm going to be doing in the future is only wearing stuff that's for sale because I, I feel so bad when you guys are like, where'd you get that? And it's like, Goodwill eight years ago. Um, so I will be switching back to that. Jar Baby does not have a name, but if y'all can agree on one, I will switch to that. Okay. And then let's go down here. So I'm always looking to get more plants. This will be full soon. Um, this was just a little way. Oh, I pushed it. <laughs> to advertise for my podcast, um, which I have nine episodes up on YouTube right now if you guys want to listen to it. They're quick. They're like five, ten minutes um, called Sick Indulgence, just about ridiculously things that are way too overpriced. Brian, I will show them to you in a second. Um, I got the pair of them for $30 on Walmart's website for super cheap. Clarice is a good one. I like Clarice. Um, <laughs> I keep thinking names, but yes, I will show you that. But um, they were very, very inexpensive and there's really easy ways that you can upgrade stuff to make it look better and work better for you. If you have questions about that, refashionedhippy at gmail.com. I'm not kidding. I, I will get to you as quickly as possible. I love what I do. If I can help you do it, please let me know. Okay, Joey the Jar Baby. Okay, down here is the Office Lego set. I'm a huge Office fan. Um, I actually read a study they did that said that people who have anxiety, like moi, um, like re-watching the same thing over and over and over because it's like calming because we know what's coming, you know? Um, and so The Office is the number one show <laughs> that people re-watch because of anxiety and it is completely true in my case. So my husband is a big fan of Legos, so he decided to make that for me. Um, and it's also the thing that you will hear my daughter playing with in the background at all times. Like she's not allowed down here. Um, Tank is not allowed down here. The cats are not allowed down here. So of course they all come immediately. <laughs> so that's what she's playing with in the background the entire time. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to keep up with all of the comments. So if I miss anything, please just rewrite it. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Um, skull doilies. Yeah, I absolutely damn do. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Um, but yeah, Brian, email me if you have any questions. I'll tell you everything I use. You know there's no secrets. Um, yeah, okay, so my husband right now, he's upstairs building the um, Rivendell set that I got him for uh, for his birthday. <laughs> like, Legos are a big deal in this house. And whenever my husband is doing Legos, like literally nothing will distract him from it. I can dance naked with the keys to a Ferrari in my mouth nothing. <laughs> He's very serious about it. All right. So up next, this is you guys. Um, this is the award that we got for a hundred thousand subscribers. That's you guys. Um, you guys did that. I like, I, <laughs> I had no idea that I could get a plaque. I'll do a lot of things for free stuff. Um, but I, I want to keep displaying that because it makes me so happy. And that is all you guys, because you guys are so nice and you come to all my stuff. Um, okay. And then this is just a little cutie, little cutie. I like, this is the other book I wrote, why I hate everything. It is about, um, the 10 years that I spent working in retail. If you want to know what it's like to really work inside a thrift store, please check it out. Um, if you want to know how to steal from a thrift store, check it out though. I don't advise that you do. Um, oh, thank you, Dakota. You're so nice. I crochet doilies with skulls in them. Okay, sweet pea. Like let's talk. 
Okay. All right. Next down here. Um, oh, this is something that Ollie made me. I'm going to put you guys down. Hold on. Sorry. I'm just going to be on the floor for a second. It's just straight boobs. Um, okay. So this is something that Ollie made me. So Ollie drew me and I, I, I'm waiting to be able to hang it up, but he drew me stupid rich people fashion and all my stuff. So he drew my cat Leia, Bones, my dog Tank, um, the t-shirts that I make and my voice saying, hello. <laughs> I, mean, I, I really, I also don't mean to say that. I just say it. I, I don't mean to say that. It just comes out of my mouth when I turn the camera on. Um, and then my little shirt says, I love tank. Like Ollie's such a cutie, you guys. He's so sweet. Um, and it's, it got my YouTube award too. <laughs> He's such a cutie. Um, so Yes, so this is from Ollie. I'm waiting to be able to hang it up because I don't know how to do stuff. I need I need a man. Um, I'm sorry, I'm still checking comments. Let me know. Mrs. Thomas, yeah, my name is Maggie Weber. You can check me out. It's Weber with one B like the girls. Um, go ahead and tag me for stuff. Of course I framed it. Oh my God, I had to. I had to. Oh, absolutely, Mama Gemma. Mama Gemma, I don't know. People rewatch stuff, definitely. Absolutely, okay. Oh, thank you, Em. You're so cutie. Okay. Um, so yeah, this was from Ollie. This is another piece that came from my wedding, but I'm going to tell you the story. Um, so when I had my first date with my husband, I had just gotten out of my first like serious relationship not that long ago. Um, I was definitely not ready to date. He hadn't dated in years. My husband's older than me. Um, and he was just past the point where he thought he would start a family. Um, so we both walked into the date without like real expectations on it. It was just sort of what happens, happens. Um, and the first, I'd say 15 minutes, I walked in and we somehow ended up on the Ulfbert sword, which is a Viking sword from around the year 1100. Um that was using technology only really available in Iran at the time. So we were discussing 12th century metallurgy within the first 15 minutes of our date. And that was what like got my husband. <laughs> he was just like, I need to be with this woman. Um, Cause we've both seen the same documentary because we're both gigantic nerds. So for my, um, for our anniversary, my mother-in-law got us an Ogle Bogle sword because she cannot pronounce Ulfbert. Um, but yeah, I am a gigantic nerd. I don't know if I've made that clear to all of you. Um, giant nerd. And I used to be able to hide it, but it's really started coming out recently. <laughs> so give me one second. I'm going to look at comments again. I'm sorry. You guys know I'm the worst at catching up with this. Um, thank you, this guy. <laughs> um, oh, total D and D vibes. I would actually... I don't know if anybody's interested. I need more people to play Helldivers and Call of Duty with. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, but I would love to get a D&D &D thing going. That would make me really happy. Especially with you guys. Because, like, it's so weird because I feel like you all know a lot about me. I still don't know a lot about you guys. I would love to get to meet you that way. I'm working on a Discord. I swear you guys know I'm just not smart. Um, okay, next. So this is my little dice chest. KG, I swear to God, I'm working. I'm working on a Discord. <laughs> I'm working on it. I have to Google. Okay, but yes. So isn't she a little cutie though? And I have to look up the company that this came from because again, it's a small business. I really love supporting small business. Um, so I'll be telling you guys about that. And then I love my rose quartz. I don't know what's going on. Um, I see you, babe. I see you. I know. Isn't it such a cute dice chest? I'm sorry. It's just straight boobs tonight. But yeah, um, I have to have my crystals. They're like my calming thing. It's completely psychosomatic. Mimic chest. Thank you. Who said that? Pixel. Thank you. I could not think of that name. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, and then let's go over here. So up here is a Lego tall neck, also from Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, I absolutely love this game. It makes me so super happy. So I have those back there. I'm trying to raise myself a little Aloy. I don't, you guys, I, I try not to show my daughter 
because she's not young enough, or she's not old enough to be able to like consent to be on my YouTube channel. Um, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to raise me an A boy. And then somebody for my birthday got me the Dune popcorn bucket, and like, I'm so happy about it. <laughs> I'm so happy about it. So that's gonna live up there. Um, I haven't yet eaten popcorn out of it because I, I don't feel confident cleaning this. <laughs> <laughs> but just owning it makes me very, very happy. Um, okay. And then these are my crystal towers. Again, I just love to have them. A lot of people think that this is like a friend of mine. This is Jillian Anderson. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. <gasps> Easter eggs in the background of lives. Ooh, I would love that. Oh my gosh. Yay! Okay, sorry. I'm reading comments. Okay. You guys know I can't do two things at once. Um, can you imagine if I get famous enough where I can like hire people to help me with this. I will go crazy. Okay. Next. Okay. Hold on. Would you consider outsourcing or if we could collaborate with lots of people? Oh yeah. All right, Mama Jam. We're going to talk later, Mama Jam. I have some stuff coming that I'm not supposed to talk about yet, but we'll come back to that. Okay. Um, so this is Jillian Anderson. I keep a picture of her because she is basically the exact opposite of the character that she played on the X-Files where I first fell in love with her. Um, and some of my sexuality came into play. So she's the opposite of that character. Like she plays this like straight laced Catholic scientific, whatever in real life. She is like ookie kooky and I absolutely love her. I love her sense of style and I love that this is generally her attitude. So I keep a picture of her back there. Partly for anxiety, partly just to say I am in love with you, um, because obsession. And then I got this little guy from a thrift store, but I kept him because I am French originally. Um, ironically, with all my girl power stuff, I am from the line of Chauvin, uh, who was so misogynistic that they named the word chauvinist for him. Um, so, but that is my French history. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to read. <laughs> uh, hold on. It did. Yes, it just came out, Audrey. Her book just came out. Um, but yeah, so when we visited some family that we had in France, we went to visit Notre Dame. And it was just so incredibly beautiful, but I was, I was struck by the gargoyles on it. The gargoyles, I just love that. And I love that it's such an amazing part of French architecture and French culture. I mean, European shore altogether, but I, I, I love it. So I, I kept my little gargoyle. Um, and then this is actually from my sister-in-law. So this is a squirrel girl comic, because if you guys have ever seen me going live on Poshmark or here, let's be honest. Um, I am very much a squirrel. I can start telling you a story and then I see something and I'm off in a new direction. So on my channel, um, <laughs> on my, on my Poshmark channel, I probably shouldn't announce this, but there is a drinking game. So if you come to any of my, um, Poshmark shows, there is a drinking game. And one of the rules is you take a shot every time well, it's a hydration game. I encourage you to drink water. Um, but every time I have a squirrel moment, you take a drink of water. Um, there are several other rules. I can go over them for you, should you like. But she got me this because she says I am a squirrel girl. And my friend Kristen, who I go live with most frequently, is also a squirrel girl. <laughs> um, so the two of us together, like, we don't get nothing done. Okay. Um, and then I have... Another of my rose quartzes and a sandstone piece. Um, I actually got these from a company. I did an unboxing of something that I bought for them. And then they gave me some other stuff at like the wholesale price just because I'm, I am also a magpie. And again, guys, I don't know how crystals started like this. It, they just entered my home and now I have to keep buying them. I don't know what happened. I don't know why or how, but here we are. Um, and then this is my little guy. I am never giving him up. I am working on getting a P.O. box, KG. I'm sorry. I know I was supposed to give that to you. Um, yeah, I saw my mom finally, she, she saw how many fans I had, like, and I'm sorry to call you guys fans. That sounds awful. But, um, how many followers I have. And 
and she was like, you don't give out your address, do you? And I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> and she was like, stop that immediately. So I will be getting a PO box this week. Um, if you want to send me stuff, which you absolutely don't have to, but yeah, no total magpie. I, yeah, anything shiny, any kind of crystals, I am a complete magpie. Um, and then the last thing that I keep back here is just whatever book I'm reading. Um, I love reading books. I don't have a lot of time to do it. So the only time I really get to read is when I am transferring a video over from my computer to my phone to do the editing. But in a matter of years, I will actually be able to read because <laughs> I get to read like two pages at a clip. Um, oh, what color eyes? If I could have green eyes on my snocks, that would be amazing. Um, ugh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sorry. I'm reading all your comments guys. Um, but yeah, so that's, I, I try to keep stuff that like comforts me and keeps me happy down here. Um, and nerd books do that. So I, I at least get a little bit of reading in every now and again. Um, yeah, I've heard from a lot of women that the crystals just happen, that they just, it's like my daughter, with Happy Meal toys. It's like, I, I get her a Happy Meal probably about once a week, which I swore I would never do. I swore I would never ever do it. Um, and then it just happened. Um, <laughs> um, but they multiply like bunnies. Like you leave the room and suddenly there's three more. Um, can you please say my name Vasavi? I'm hoping I said that correctly. I probably didn't. If I didn't get the pronunciation, let me know. Um, Oh, and if you guys are interested, oh, thank you, Mrs. Thompson. Um, if you guys are interested, I am starting a storytelling channel because I know some people like my voice. Um, so I'm going to, it, it's called Refashioned Stories. It is currently up. I think I only have about five so far. I'm a big fan of mysteries and gothic stuff. I am married. Thank you. Um, I'm a big fan of that. So right now I have... Um, some Edgar Allan Poe up. I'll be doing more of that, but just stories to help you go to sleep at night or just be able to hear. I am married. Yep. I am married. Um, he's a very lucky man. <laughs> um, so Refashion Stories is up. If there's anything that you're interested in hearing there, let me know. I would love to get into voice acting and do audiobooks. I don't know how, so I will be doing some Lovecraft. I, I have that set aside actually. Um, I will be doing some Lovecraft. Yeah, I will be doing some Lovecraft. <gasps> Norris Mythology. Yes. Oh, I could do that like right now. Oh, the mannequin on the necklace. Absolutely. Send me an email and I can set that up for you. Um, and again, I'm sorry because I know I show a lot of stuff that isn't for sale. But what I'm going to do in the future is that everything up here will be for sale. So every piece of jewelry, every piece of clothing, including what I'm wearing, will be available for sale. Um so this necklace is five and I'll do the dress for 15. If anybody wants, it is a size four though. So just email me. I will set that up in the future. I will put a link to each of the pieces in the description, um, to make it easier for you guys. Um, but yeah, sorry. Let me check up on, oh, I wish I made this dress. Come on. It looks good. I didn't make it. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to keep practicing with my clothing making. Um, I, once my daughter is in school, I'm going to have a lot more time to do, um, more of my handmade clothing. So I hope to be increasing that and maybe start some voice acting then. Um, but for now it's going to be pieces that I get. All right. So I'm sorry. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to read through comments. I do have plus size stuff for sale, KG. If you go to my website, refashionedhippie.shop, um, there is a tag for women's plus size clothing. I can tell you my focus this week is going to be on adding more men's and women's plus size to the site. So yes, um, you can also shop on like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, wherever, but refashionedhippie.shop has my lowest prices because I'm not losing those things. Um, let's see. Oh no, thank you guys so much for coming. I didn't think, oh, it is not vintage. No, unfortunately it's not a vintage necklace. I didn't think there would be this many people here, but if you guys have any questions, um, please let me know. Oh, Thai boxer, thank you. I, I, I brought this rack from home. My mom helped me make it. Um, let me see. What else are you guys interested in? 
Laurel K. Hamilton is saucy. Read my girl. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be reading like erotica because um, my daughter can one day stumble across my YouTube. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me see what else we got here. I would love to do Norse mythology, though. I'm again, I'm such a gigantic nerd. Um, Norse mythology and like Egyptian mythology live up in my head. Um, so I could do a lot of that. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry. I think I'm going to go with Clarice. I kind of feel like I love that. Yeah, I did not tell my moderator I was going live. Um, maybe I should. <laughs> but yeah, I can do Egyptian and Norse. That would make me super happy. And of course, Greek mythology. Um, I was absolutely raised on that. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I also chose to go live at like midnight. <laughs> so that's a little bit on me. Um, but yeah, for anyone who doesn't know what it's like to be a woman on the internet. Hello. Um, this is this is where we go. <laughs> All right. But yeah, let me know what you guys are interested. Is there anything that we want to talk about? Um, okay, I am absolutely a nerd and I absolutely play a and i I'm, I'm trying to get more friends um, in Call of Duty and Helldivers 2. So if you guys play that and you're interested in playing with me, please let me know. Um, I would love to get a D&D game going if anybody wants to be a part of that. Um, I'm going to try to set up the Discord so that we can do some watch nights together. Um, and then from there, I'll see if I can set up a D&D thing. But I don't know if anybody would like actually want to do that. Um, and I'm sorry, let me see. I'm trying to... I'm trying to catch up on comments. Um, where are you guys from also? Can you let me know? Oh, let's see. Oh, so Mr. Vanguard, yes. Um, I'm going to try to feature more companies that I actually approve of in terms of fashion because there's a lot of crazy out there. But I do want to show you guys what I really appreciate. Okay, so let's see. What's the weirdest thing I found at the thrift store or donated? Stephanie, that is a bigger question than you might realize. So again, I worked in thrift stores for 10 years. Um, the amount of porn <laughs> that gets donated is pretty high. Um, the amount of weed and cocaine, again, pretty high. Um, <laughs> like much higher than you think. But I think the thing that bothered me the most is just the completely unclean stuff. So like underwear with skid marks or used pads still attached. Um, one of my friends stuck her hand in a pair of jeans and was stabbed with a syringe. We didn't know what it was, but her hand swelled up to the point where she couldn't move her fingers or her skin would crack and bleed. So she had to go to the hospital. She was there for about three days. Um, that happens a lot. So when you go to a thrift store, when you're donating, please make sure your items are clean. They don't have to be like just washed and folded. We know that's not going to happen, but just not like dangerous. Check your pockets for your old syringes. That's all we ask. Um, let's see. I'm going to read through more comments. Yeah, Mara Crochet. I Those 3 a.m. posts are real, by the way. <laughs> like, I don't post them until morning, but I really do record them at 3 a.m. Because I get up to pee and then <laughs> and I look at my phone, which I shouldn't do. And, and, then, and then it's a disaster. Okay. Yeah, Close My Boobs Laugh At is probably my favorite segment right now. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to catch up because you guys know I cannot... I cannot read and do things at the same time. <gasps> you used to be a dungeon mistress? I don't know if that's in game or not, but either way, I want to talk to you. Oh, Mr. Vanguard, I'm in Maryland too. I want to try being a DM in D&D &D, because I feel like I can do characters. That'd be fun. You guys are from all over. This is crazy. Oh, my gosh. I, oh, my gosh. There's so many of you, too. This is nuts. Oh, thank you all so much for coming here. This is insane. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. I'm trying to catch up. I promise. You found a bloody dress where you worked. I absolutely believe that. 
Oh, we used to find money in cash all the time, this guy. Um, I was the head of the clothing department in two of the stores that I worked in. And originally, I took all of the money that we found and just sort of said, so we accept this as a donation to the store because I worked in nonprofits. Um, but then my boss, my manager, the store manager was just like, no, keep it. And anytime that you have like enough money, um, just, you know, buy your workers lunch. And I think she thought that that would happen once a year. It used to happen at least once a month. Um, because I dealt with clothing, accessories, and domestics. And the amount of money that we found was always really high. So yeah, we find money all the time. Uh, we once found $5,000 in an old sewing machine, $800 in some files that someone had donated. Um, at least at my stores, we did everything we could to make sure that it got back to the original owners. But yeah, that, that happened a lot. <laughs> that happened a lot. Um, hold on. Let's see. Oh, you had to do community service. Uh, that happens to a lot of people. If you have to do community service, ask to do it in a thrift store. It's really not the worst. It's really not the worst. Um, plus, you do get access to a lot of stuff that you might have not seen otherwise. Um, Yeah, a lot of a lot of personal massagers and couch cushions. That's correct, Batman. <laughs> um, Zoe, I don't know what your deal is, but if I figure out how to, yeah, I have I have hidden you. I figured that out. Um, let's see. <gasps> oh, Mister Vanguard, you're posted up with a spinal injury. You poor baby. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up on messages. You guys know I'm not good at this. Yeah, I'm a cisgender woman. I don't know if that's like a deal. Um, sorry, I'm trying to catch up. You guys are so fast. <laughs> yeah, pizza parties all the time. I'm not kidding. So David, you're not really missing anything. We're kind of just talking at this point. I did a little studio tour. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'm looking through to see if there's anything we want to talk about, but I'm just here to hang out with you guys. Uh, okay. I've caught up. Okay. Okay. Oh, you guys are supposed to <laughs> Zoe Bogan rolled a nat one off. <laughs> okay. No, you guys are really sweet. Thank you. Um, thrift stores for costuming. Um, Ooh. <sighs> okay. So I'm actually... A trained thespian so I, I actually used to deal with companies that handled that um check out love saves the day in Doylestown they have a website and it's amazing um but really goodwill is where you're gonna want to go a lot of companies have weird deals with goodwill um and if you call and ask to speak to a manager and generally say here's what I'm looking for they can usually work with you because they have such a good network um yeah so weirdly goodwill um they're not my favorite thrift store to deal with in general, but if you have very specific needs, they're a good one to go to. Where did you get the necklace? It's from Dr. Who, right? Are you talking about this one that I am wearing? Because that came from a thrift store. Let me know if I can help you with that. Oh, story actually. So I used to work with someone who was one of the designers for Ralph Lauren, and he said that Ralph Lauren is so incredibly boring and unimaginative that what designers used to do all the time, including him, was just go into thrift stores, find clothing that had been handmade in the 60s or 70s, take it apart, use that pattern to make a new dress, bring it in and be like, here's a new design. And that a lot of Ralph Lauren clothing is made that way. Um, sorry, I'm trying to catch up. Um, so... He said a lot of Ralph Lauren clothing is made that way, and Ralph Lauren feels so creative about it, but really they're just taking things that people handmade 40 years ago. Um, and he said that Ralph Lauren is so incredibly uninspired that if you show him a dress in green and you say, okay, but imagine this in blue, he'll be like, oh, I hate it. But if you take that dress and remake it in blue, he'll be like, I love it. Like, he can't even focus that way. Um, and a lot of designers, this is how I learned that, a lot of designers don't actually design things at this point in their career. They just approve designs. 
Um, so they have entire teams of people working for them that you will never know about. Um, but that, that is how their designs get made now. All right. So hmm. let's see. Hmm. Sorry. I'm trying to keep up. Yeah. There's a lot of boob comments, but that's just going to happen. I mean, yeah. Let's see. No, guys, I'm so used to the boob comments. Like, I, I hope this doesn't invite more, but like, there's nothing you can say at this point that I haven't heard. They're here. Um, there are some people who are actually suggesting that I get breast reduction surgery because I'll be able to wear more clothing that way. Um, this is my body. This is my body. I like it that way. I'm not going to knock anybody who does go in for breast re reduction surgery or anybody who goes in to get breasts enhanced, but this is my body. This is the body that God and Ben and Jerry gave me. Um, I am doing my best to learn to love it. Uh, I, like I think every person on this planet, there are things I don't like, but I mean, if you're trying to piss me off, if you're trying to troll me, don't go for the boobs. I'm into them. <laughs> I can just tell you that right now. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you guys. No, you guys are really nice. Um, but yeah, what do you guys want to talk about? Because I'm I'm here for you guys. Um, Arc Thrift Stores is super nice. They are going to have me on their podcast, Get Thrifty, soon. I'll be recording that soon. Um, so you'll be able to hear a little bit more from me. Um, and I should thank you guys. This is all from you. Um, the stuff that you see on my channel, it's all from you guys. You guys email it to me. You send it to me. Um, I could do 20 reels a day based on what you guys give me. And it's, it's all you guys. So really, thank you. It is just completely all you. Um, let's see. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, I'm boss. Pro, pro boob here too. <laughs> Tommy Cash. You know what, baby? You sent me that and I did not. Boobs, not boss. <laughs> oh, and for anybody asking, I shop at Soma. That is where my boob holders come from. Um, if you are a plus size woman, it can be really difficult to find bras that work. But yes, Soma, S-O-M-A is pretty good. Um, they were incredibly kind to me. I After I had my daughter, I went to a Victoria's Secret and I said like, hey, I haven't bought a bra in years. Like, can you help me? So she measured me, literally said, you're too big to shop here, honey. Turned around and walked back into the store. And I went and sat in my car and cried for about 20 minutes. Um... But Soma is where I get my boob holders. I'm constantly looking for new places. I found some places that I like the lingerie from. I'm in talks with them to show some of that on my channel. But obviously, for reasons, I'm concerned about doing that. But I will give you their names once we work some more stuff out. Um, but okay. Torrid is good. I've heard a lot of really good things about Torrid. Um, and they are one of the few channels, or sorry, channels. Um, the few stores that I feel like really give plus size women fashion instead of just, here's a big blue cape fatty. Like so much plus size clothing is just like, you're lucky we have this for you. Um, Torrid actually has like nice women's clothing. Okay. Sorry. I'm checking out what else we got here. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, I know this is going real fast. <laughs> it's ripped off. Oh, um, no, it is not a Doctor Who dress. It's actually from like a decent designer. Um, it's a size four. I remember that. Let me check. Hold on. Who is this by? Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> this is not going to work. Um, Adrian Propel. Yeah, it is Adrian Propel. It does look river songy. You're so completely right. Oh, I was so sad. I tried to get my husband into Doctor Who. And he just wasn't having it. And it was like, but you have to watch this. Like, it's it's to the point where it's like, there's some there's some shows where I just want to tie you to a chair and make you watch it. Like, the first couple seasons of um, Battlestar Galactica, Babylon 5, which I'm planning to do the watch along with. Yeah, there's so much. Okay, sorry. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> See? <laughs> sorry. I'm trying to catch up. Lane Bryant's okay. Lane Bryant is not my favorite, but it's okay. Hold on. Okay. So John, that's what this live started as. I showed you everything that was back here. So please go back and rewatch that because I'm not going to make everybody else sit through it. But yeah, I went through what everything is. I will be changing some stuff up and I think I am going to start hiding some Easter eggs and maybe like, maybe the first person to message me with where X is today will win a free t-shirt or something. We'll figure it out because I want to keep making clothing 
Um, but I feel bad charging for it because <laughs> I'm still learning. Um, let's see. Full on. Sorry, I'm catching up. Firefly. David, 1000%. Firefly is like a perfect show. And then they canceled it because they canceled everything good. I love Firefly. Oh my God. Ugh. Sorry, I'm catching up. Okay, I watched an entire season of The Expanse. Could not get into it. Could not get into it. I'm trying so hard. I swear to God. Starbuck versus Delenn. Mara, I will not answer that question and I do not appreciate you asking it. Oh my God. Um, every once in a while, somebody will say that I look like Katie Sackoff and the rest of the day, I'm flying so high. Like I'm obsessed with that woman. Um, Farscape, so good. So good. Tank is all better. Lex. Oh my God, Lex. Like, <laughs> tell you guys how much of my slut brain was formed watching Lex at like two in the morning. Wait, yes, I love Lex. No other humans have ever seen that. It is such a bizarre show. The Malcolm McDowell season. I, yes, I love Lex so much. Red Dwarf, I'm actually re-watching right now and it still makes me so happy. Um, yeah, I love Red Dwarf. And it, so there's a company called Smeg that makes like really fancy painted appliances and every, I cannot see Smeg without thinking like Smeghead um, or Smegma. It's a, it's a bad name either way, but yes, I am definitely into Red Dwarf. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm coming out with more Bleach stuff, definitely. Uh, David Tennant is definitely my favorite Doctor Who. Um, although, ugh, I'm not going to remember his name because I'm the worst at it, but the older one with the long scarf, very into that. Um, let's see. I tried Haven. Mm. Highlander. I, okay. I'm a huge fan of like bad movies, especially from the eighties. I will watch Highlander at any moment, at any moment. <laughs> I will watch Highlander. I will watch, um, I mean, my God, a any horror movie, any bad horror movie, except like torture stuff. I don't do torture stuff. Um, but yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm catching up. <laughs> Twin Peaks. 1000% love Twin Peaks. They stream Lex on Amazon. John, did you just change my life? Because I think you just changed my life, John. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm trying to catch up. Oh, West Norton, PA. What's up? What's up, Russell? Yeah, I know Norristown. I, uh, I grew up in Lansdale Hatfield after, after we left Philly. I'm so happy. Tom Baker. Oh, thank you guys. Oh my God. Tom Baker. Yes. I'm kind of desperately in love with Tom Baker. Um, oh, it is in fact Easter. Thank you, Don. Yes. Christ is ridden, risen. I should, I should be nicer now. Um, but yes, it is Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. At least where I am. Okay. Oh, and Shalom. Okay. As, as well. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> okay. I have not watched Star Trek New Worlds yet. Um, I have a lot of shows that I have to get through. Sorry, I'm reading so fast. Tank is doing so much better. She's doing so much better. I did watch Highlander, the series. I definitely did. Um, yeah, Tank is doing so much better. She's just super, super happy. She got to go to a party last week. And it, Tank, because she's a pit bull, people get scared of her. They cross the street when they see her coming. Um, but she got to go to a party last week where nobody was scared of her. And... It was a one-year-old's birthday party. So she just posted up right under the one-year-old and just waited for that food to fall. Just, just super intensity on her face. And she scoped out the perfect, the perfect victim because that kid was just throwing stuff and she was like, <laughs> it was really bad. Um, so yeah, she was, she was a very happy girl. Um, yeah, I love my Tinky. Okay. Orphan Black. I made it through like three seasons. I made it through like three seasons and then I don't know why I just sort of dropped off. I think because I asked my TV to show me Orphan Black to rewatch it. And then I started watching The Blacklist because that's what came up. And I got so much more interested in that. I'm not kidding. Because again, squirrel. Um, let's see. I did see the others. I kind of have this thing about Nicole Kidman where I hate her. Not as a person. I think she's a very nice person. But when she acts, it's just so, like, I'm a skinny lady from Australia. It's just, it's, 
everything is just this wide eyed. And it's like, girl, if you weren't pretty, like, mm, I don't know. I have opinions. I think we know that. Stargate SG-1 was one of my favorite shows growing up. And let me tell you why. Because Samantha Carter is an intelligent woman. And at no time are her male compatriots, like, intimidated by that. Do they try to belittle her? Do they make fun of her for that? Instead, she is only ever seen as a complete asset to the team. And... People, like, her entire team, they're proud. They're proud to know her. They're proud to go to her for advice. So, yeah, I am a huge fan of Stargate SG-1. I will still rewatch that all the time. I hope my daughter will be into it. Like, I want her to grow up seeing strong female characters. Um, and Samantha Carter absolutely was that for me. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry, I don't... I don't think Nicole Kidman's a great actress. I think she's a nice person. I think she does a lot of nice stuff, but just, mm, I have not seen I Frankenstein. Oh, this is making me so happy. Um, okay. Yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna try to set up a Discord so that we can do some, some watch nights together. Um, <gasps> Resident Alien is so good! Oh, it's so good, oh my God! That man, that beautiful, beautiful man. Um, oh, also horror comedies, if you're into it. Tucker and Dale versus Evil so good so good so good so good um final girls also amazing i'm rambling at this point i'm sorry okay is there anything else you guys want to know about because i'm just completely ran rambling um alan tudyk thank you thank you for knowing that i wouldn't know because i didn't um yeah thank you for knowing that i wouldn't know <laughs> but yeah let me know if there's anything that you guys want to know about i'm so sorry i just start rambling yeah, anything with Alan Tudyk. I'll watch absolutely anything. <gasps> Rebo the Genetic Opera is so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Um, I love anime. I am working my way. Sorry, I'll get to the anime in a second. If you haven't seen Rebo the Genetic Opera, it's weird, but it's got Anthony Stewart head in it. And that's all this girl needs. Um, it's so good. They were making the movie Repo at the same time and they knew that Repo the Genetic Opera was better, which it is. So they were actually like stealing crews from the set. They would come in and be like, I'll pay you double whatever they're doing. Just do the same thing you're doing for them. So they tried to steal a lot of people from that, which I do not appreciate. But yeah, it is so good. Okay, but I'm sorry. Someone had a question. Um, yes, okay, I'm getting into anime. Anything from Miyazaki, obviously. But that's like saying, I like food. Like, if you don't like Miyazaki, you're weird. Um, uh, so definitely into that. I am currently reading a couple mangas because I want to watch the series that are coming out on YouTube or not YouTube. I'm sorry. I'm on YouTube right now. Netflix. Um, but yeah, if you guys have good anime suggestions, let me know. Uh, Vox Machina was so good. It was so good. So good. Yes. I love Vox Machina. Um, Mononoke is a classic. I actually considered going as Princess Mononoke for Halloween this year, but somebody suggested Dolly Parton and I kind of want to get into it. Dr. Horrible Sing Long Vlog is so sweet. It's so sweet. And again, anything with that man, anything with that man in it, I will watch. Um, let's see. Yeah, I know Dakota. I absolutely know. I haven't seen Kiki's Delivery Service or Totoro. I have not seen Totoro either. So I just need people to hang out with. Konosuba. Okay. I finished Food Wars and that made me really happy. I'm a food obsessed person in general. Um, yeah, anything Ghibli is great. Anything Miyazaki is great. Um, but Food Wars was really fun because I, I'm a chef's daughter. My father's a classically trained French chef. So food was a huge part of my house growing up. And it's still definitely one of my love languages. Like if you come to my house, I will be feeding you. That's going to be a part of your day. You don't really have a say in that. Um, and everything I make is like, I don't like to use preservatives. So all homemade from scratch. If I make a pumpkin pie, it begins the day like as a pumpkin. Um, so Food Wars was nice because it kind of like combined stuff I like and I got some recipes I wanted to try. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to catch up now. Name a day I'm big on free food. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, you guys are so sweet to me. Oh my God. Uh, Nathan Fillion and Neil Patrick Harris. 
Why would you say, like, okay, Castle is a stupid, stupid show, but I will absolutely watch six seasons of anything for Nathan Fillion. Anything at all. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm trying to catch up. Mm -hmm. Okay, Wheel of Time, I would say has a pretty serious drop off, but I'm still working my way through it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Sorry, okay. All right, well, let me know if there's anything that you guys want to talk about, because otherwise I'm going to let you all go soon, because I did not expect to be rambling this long. Um, but I guess also let me know, is this, like, fun for you guys? Do you, do, you, do you want to do more of these just sort of, like, not scheduled lives? Um, is it better to do them here or on Instagram? I'm working on Spy Family. Oh, that's my, <laughs> that's my nephew. I'm working on Spy Family. I love that. Um... Okay, so yeah, do you guys want Reincarnated as a Slime? I love, I was obsessed with that, but I could only see the first season. Um, yeah, so let me know. <laughs> let me know if you guys want to keep doing stuff like this or if you prefer like the more scheduled stuff because I can certainly do that. Um, okay, and and here versus Instagram, let me know that in the comments too. But yeah, and if, is there anything else you guys want to talk about or if you have more anime suggestions, please let me know. Um, Colorado Springs. I have a lot of friends in Colorado. I think I want to go out there and visit. Maybe we can set, set things up so I can talk. All right. So it's sounding like. Wait, are you saying I have a massive forehead? <laughs> I have not been to Utah. I love Colorado though. I would love that. Yeah, I'm going to try to figure out how to set up um, a, a Discord so that I can actually talk to some of you guys. Um, I would like to do that. Garden of the Gods. I will check that out. I will check that out. Yeah, Jennifer, there's a lot of good um, contests that I think we're going to have coming up. Yeah, I will figure out Discord. <laughs> I can sing on Discord. Well, I can't sing anywhere else. <laughs> Hold on, sorry. Okay. So I'm in Maryland. I can tell you guys I'm in Maryland. I'm originally from Philly, um, which is why I'm such a big Eagles fan. And I already, I, I looked at my husband today and I was just like, football's going to start soon. And he's like, the football season just ended. And I was like, yeah, but that means it's starting again. Like, I'm so excited. Um, if there's any other Philly people, maybe we could... Uh, Maybe we could watch some games together on Discord, too. Okay. Yo, I tried Akira. I tried so hard, I swear to you. It, like, it's a classic, so I watched it. Mm. Ugh, just not, not the best for me. Um, oh, Never Ending Story. I was absolutely raised on that. Oh, I'm the Lebanon. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in Lebanon. Um, okay. Yeah, you told me, Audrey. That's absolutely amazing. Oh, and I'm sorry. If you guys are interested um, in my charity, you can check them out. It's tinyhousecommunity.org. Um, we are building a tiny house community for the homeless in the city of Philadelphia. And every purchase that you guys make from my stores, um, even the merch, is a portion of that is going to help um, pay for the construction costs. So it's all good. It's all good. Too. All right. Um, <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, let me know if there's anything else you guys want to talk about. Otherwise, I think I'm going to let you go. Uh, Madoka Magica. Okay, I'm gonna check that out. Oh, thank you, Lily. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh my god, I know. I want a starving artist commune. Ugh. They're all asleep. That's why I came on here. <laughs> Honestly, I just got this this dress and I felt cute. I was like, I'm just gonna do the studio tour. Screw it. Um, and then I stayed for half an hour. <laughs> because you guys actually are, there's 354 people what the heck oh my gosh you guys rock <laughs> but yeah let me know. okay let me know what you want to talk about is there anything that you guys want more on the channel let me know that too um You know what? I've already blown up, honestly. It's, it, it, this has really been incredible. All right, weird furniture and most terrible signage. Yeah, the bad designs are definitely my favorites. Um, I am Christian. Yep. 
I am Christian. I don't mind saying that. Um, I, I try to not talk too much about religion and politics on my channel. Um, but yeah, I am Christian. Let's see. Clothing my boobs laugh at. Yeah, that's another good one. <laughs> Dude, bye. What's up? Okay, let's see. So I was raised Catholic. I converted to Lutheranism. Um, yeah. And again, I, I try not to talk too much about religion on my channel, but um, yeah, personally, I am a Christian. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Rob. <gasps> David, you're an actual forest witch. Can we talk? Ugh, that is so my aesthetic. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, a lot of Lutherans start out <laughs> start out Catholic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baptized Lutheran raised hippie. I love that. Yeah, if anybody wants this. Let me know. I yeah, the, the necklace or the dress, just email me. Um let's see. You're a Jedi. <laughs> well that works too. Um, okay, so yeah, I guess for anybody who who doesn't know, for anybody who's just joining us, um, I started tonight with a studio tour. So if you want to go back and watch that, I've shown all of the stuff that I have back here. Um, but I am a clothing reseller by trade. I wanted a job that would let me stay home with my daughter. I wanted to be a stay at home mom, but still bring in an income. So most of what I get about 90% is actually from donations. Um, my friends and neighbors know that I do this to raise money for my daughter's college fund and for my charity. So most of what I get in is donations, which is why I can always afford to do things less expensively if you guys need. Um, and again, if you need, just message me like, I'm very, very fortunate that I'm in a situation where if, if somebody says, you know, my neighbor's house burned down, I can say, okay, just go shopping on my website. I'll give it all to you for free. Like I have the ability to do that. Um, I recently set up my own store, refashioned hippie dot shop. Um, you know what, David, that's a lack of confidence. That's a lack of confidence. Sorry. Um, I love to go thrifting when I have the ability, but I don't get to super, super often. Um, I'm going to be trying to make more of my own clothing because a lot of times I get like a plain black t-shirt and I could maybe sell that for like, you know, five bucks, whatever. But I like to upcycle and make things into something new. So I'll be doing a lot more of that once my daughter starts going to school. Um, I actually only started my social media accounts to advertise for my Poshmark closet because that's where a lot of my income was coming from. And then I started showing my face a lot more because I used to just do like memes or pictures of what I was selling. Um, and then I started doing some of my comedy, just stuff that I thought was funny. Um, and you guys responded. So um, I've been focusing a lot more on that lately. And that's something that really made me grow. Yeah, Goodwill is not my favorite. They have some sort of CD business practices, if I'm honest. Um, but that's why I like to rely on donations when I can, because it's all about recycling and upcycling. Um, and for those of you who are new to the comments and discovering that I have tits, yeah, it's not a surprise. You can say need milk and milkers all you want. It's not really going to affect anybody. Just makes you look kind of gross. Um, but that's why I started my social media channels and I really want to keep focusing on just sharing more of what I think is funny with you guys. And I'm very fortunate that you guys also laugh at it. Um, so thank you for that. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's see. Thrifting for plus size clothing. Um, you can check out like goodwill.com and salvationarmy.com. Um, but my best advice, honestly, would be Poshmark. Um, Poshmark, you can go into somebody's closet and if they're a smaller seller, they have like less than 400 items. Um, usually they're selling their personal items. So you can find someone who's about the same size and style as you. Um, and if you build a bundle and send them an offer, usually they will take it. Um, so I did a lot of shopping that way when I got like an adult job and needed to buy adult clothing. Um, 
because you know if you go to like a physical goodwill location they have what they have um but if you go to Poshmark usually that's the best way that you can get a lot of clothing for inexpensive um people will always give you deals um unless they're like a total jerk <laughs> let's see what we have here mm -hmm. I don't mind kilts I'll be honest I do not mind kilts uh right now I did see the booby milk pendant. I've actually done two reels on that woman, so I'm I'm gonna try to not repeat. Um, yeah, she's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She also makes stuff out of semen, which is uh, interesting. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm trying to catch up. Let's see. Yeah, I don't mind Vikings either. <laughs> Sorry, catching up. I have seen the Simpsons Balenciaga episode and it made me so sad. Yeah, it made me so sad. Because I feel like people just don't... I'll, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I, because I have, like, once you hit a certain amount of subscribers on YouTube, you automatically just get emails um, from companies saying, like, hey, we want to sponsor you. It's, you know, and most of them are fake. Um, like, I got an offer from Prada, and it's like, you're not from Prada. Um... <laughs> Um, I always try to do my due diligence and look into each company. The companies that I talk to you guys about, if I'm putting my name on it, I really want to know what I'm representing. So like, what are their general business practices? How are their workers compensated? What kind of materials do they use? Like, I really want to know all of that. And I feel like a lot of people, like, I feel like I have this responsibility because you guys choose to listen to me. Um, but a lot of people just don't do research. And I promise you, like, the more you look into modern Balenciaga, the weirder it gets. So I will not be stopping my war on them anytime soon. Um, but yeah, the Simpsons episode made me super sad. <laughs> Balenciaga spends a lot of money getting stupid rich people to wear their clothing. A lot. Um, and I can't imagine how much it costs them to have that partnership with the Simpsons. All right, let's see what else we got here. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> um, retro fan, I have not, but I'm gonna take a screenshot because I wanna look that up. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna look that up. <laughs> all right, all right. If there's any final questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna peace out, let you guys all go to sleep. I've kept you on here for way too long. <laughs> but if if you wanted to see the studio tour, um, the video started that way. So you can go back and take a look at that. I will watch the prisoner. I will do that. Um, yeah, go do fun stuff, guys. I have had coffee one time in my life. Um, drugs super affect me, like drugs of any kind, frankly. Um, so I have had coffee one time in my life because I could not handle the caffeine. <laughs> Uh, it was a disaster. So I'm going to go with tea. And the kind of tea that you have lemon nut milk. That is my preference. Okay. Oh, Audrey. Yes. Thank you so much. I will, I will hit you up for that. Um, all right. Yeah. I'm going to go hide eggs in the house. Okay. <laughs> Bye guys. Um, and I can do this more if you guys want. This is fun for me. I just don't know if it's fun for you guys, but, um, thank you. I appreciate it. I, I really appreciate you guys coming here. It absolutely means the world to me. It absolutely means the world to me that you guys choose to spend your time with me. It's just incredible. Um, and yes, I will be working on a Discord. If anybody's interested in D&D, &D, let me know. Because I would have fun with it. We can do something loose. Um, okay. But otherwise, goodbye. Oh, I would love a hippo tour. I love hippos. I love fat little animals. They make me happy. Okay. All right. I think that's bye-bye for everybody. <laughs> All right. I'm slowly moving towards the camera. So if you have any other questions... Let me know. Otherwise, we're closing out. All right. I think we're going to go. I think we're going to go. Okay. I don't know how to end this also, so hold on. Yeah, I love fat little animals. Pigs are my favorite, but hippos. Close, close second. Okay. Are you still here? Did I do it? No, it's still coming. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I don't know how to end it. Crap. We might be here forever. <laughs>